Welcome along to my top five of things that you must try on the amazing MSC World Europa. So let's jump right in at number five, and that is the wet and dry slides. Now, although 75% of the slides may be a little bit tame, it doesn't stop them being any less enjoyable. So, starting with the Venom Drop, which looks rather imposing as it drops you from deck 20 all the way down to deck eight. It is quite a gentle slide. Top tip for you though, the still heats up in the sun. So if you ride it at night, you'll likely have a slightly faster ride. And then onto the wet slides at the Aurora Borealis Water Park, you have the likes of the very gentle Twin Racer. Moving on to the VR Racer, you can ride with or without the VR headset. And then the one that is absolutely not tame by any stretch of the imagination is the quite spectacular you drop you stand in the slide the glass door comes around you and then it counts down from four and then the floor literally falls out from beneath you and seawater goes straight up your nose as you plunge all the way down four very different slides all of them enjoyable but you drop is not for the faint of heart. Moving on then to number four, and that is Coffee Emporium. Now, I never would have thought in a million years that a coffee store would make my top five on a cruise ship, but here we are. The staff were absolutely incredible. Friendly, helpful, couldn't do enough. Added to that, you've got six different specialty coffees all of the coffees are also included on the drinks package, by the way, if you have that. So there are six coffees. There's also a decaf version of the strongest blend, which is Alteco. You have a display cabinet at the far end of the store where you've got all of the aromas of the different coffees and the scents or floral tones that make up the coffees. And you've got the little plungers and you can stand over and smell that aroma nice touch and in the window you've got a display of all the coffees available you can get your espressos lattes cappuccinos frappuccinos anything you can think of pretty much absolutely superb if you're on the ship and you love coffee then please don't give that a miss on to number three then and that is my favorite dining experience on board now i really struggled as to whether chef's garden kitchen or Kato Teppanyaki was my favorite restaurant. So for that reason, they are both my joint number three. Starting with Chef's Garden Kitchen, quite an incredible restaurant. They grow their own hydroponic greens within the restaurant and they feature in all of the courses, starters, mains and desserts. They have an open plan kitchen so you can watch your food being cooked and they also have a Norwegian Michelin starred chef. Quite superb food. If you're looking to spoil yourself, then go right ahead. If I could have tried it again on my meal package, then I would have done. But unfortunately, with the three or four dining package options, you can only dine at one venue each. On to then Kato Teppanyaki. If anybody has been to a teppanyaki restaurant before, you'll know that it's not just about the food, but also the entertainment as well. Oh my, not only was the food super tasty, the chef was just absolutely hilarious with songs and tricks, quite the excellent chef you automatically have the middle level menu if you have the three or four meal dining package but you can upgrade to the highest level which is an additional 20 euros at the time of recording and that gives you better quality steak and a few other items as well so if you're looking to try a little bit of teppanyaki then i highly recommend 
Kato Teppanyaki. Really, really entertaining and really, really super food. On to number two. I found myself calling decades aft my home. The World Promenade is very stunning. You've got the likes of the palm trees, as they're affectionately known, which light up at night. You have various shows throughout the cruise with different songs and the lights move to the music. Absolutely superb. You've got perfect views of the wake. And then you've also got the Venom Drop that you can see from here. Um, yeah, just, I found it really, really peaceful. Nice views as you look from the aft towards the midship and also out to sea. Just unbelievable, just stunning. They really have opened this ship up to the sea and I absolutely celebrate that. And lastly, in my number one spot, it is the absolutely fabulous entertainment on board. There are three superb main shows featuring the cast in the World Theatre, which is the main theatre on board. They are absolutely superb. Now, MSC has been bashed a little bit for their entertainment because it can be a little random, but they have really pulled out all the stops for the shows on World Europa. Absolutely incredible. Really, really talented bunch of singers and dancers and the lead vocalists, wow. Three very different shows, three highly enjoyable shows. I highly, highly recommend you check them out. And not only that, as well as the World Theatre, you've also got the Panorama Lounge. So they both sit on opposite ends of Deck 7 and on the aft of the ship, the Panorama Lounge features some of the best graphics I've ever seen at sea. There is a bank of windows all along the aft and at night some screens come down and images are projected all across the whole of the back of the ship and also there is an LED floor as well and all of that combined just makes for an absolutely incredible sight and also talented dancers, singers, some really good shows featuring the likes of rock and roll, love ballads, disco, really, really superb entertainment on board MSC World Europa. And that is why that makes my number one spot. So that is my top five. So have you been on MSC World Europa? Would you change the order of the top five? Would you put something else in the top five? Are you planning to go on World Europa? What are you most looking forward to? Please do drop your comments below and let me know your thoughts. And whilst you're there, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Well, that helps me to bring you more content just like this. And if you've enjoyed the video, then do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share. Until the next upload, thank you so much for watching guys. Bye now.